Welcome back to another mead review. Today, I am taste testing and uh, reviewing the Rosé mead from Meridian Hive. Now, I have a few more of their meads that I'll be uh, selecting and trying soon, but I wanted to give this one a shot, and I've heard great things about it. It is carbonated, as you just heard. It is canned, of course. I'm assuming the color is probably a pink, and indeed it is. Look at that. I was very impressed, by the way, with their last one. So it is very carbonated, you can see there. Um, and it looks really nice, super pretty color. Obviously very carbonated, not very carbonated, enough. They have a very uh, um, clear and nice honey aroma they get from for their meads. It is, uh, it's a muted floral note for me. Almost a little slightly uh, minty. Like I, I know Alpha Alpha Blossom Honey is minty. And um, that's what I get from here. Wow, that's, that smells great. Uh, obviously, Rosé is its own character in itself. So just a little bit of information before I taste test it. Meridian Hives in Texas, if you want to get some stuff from them. I actually ordered this online, so you can go and order for yourself. Uh, they ship pretty quickly from what I remember. 5.8% for this can. It is 12 fluid ounces. It is gluten-free, of course, and, um, you know, serve cold, all those things. Ingredients, water, honey, ruby red grapefruit, uh, ruby red grapefruit concentrate, dark, sweet cherry concentrate, hibiscus, yeast, potassium metabisulfite. Um, and for, it says for freshness, basically just to help it, you know, stay fresh over time. That's what a sulfide is. It's a preservative. So good to keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and taste test it. The way they can get a full body out of a 6.8% mead is very incredible to me. Um, it is just, it's super interesting. I can't believe that most time, most of the time when you make a hydromel strength mead, you're making something that's pretty light that doesn't necessarily pop. Um, it, you can get some body from carbonation, but this has carbonation and the fullness of like a 14% mead. I definitely get the um, hibiscus, the a little bit of tang between the grapefruit and the hibiscus. Hibiscus is obviously very bright and uh, aromatic to me. When I drink this, I can, um, when I inhale, I can still get some of that aromatic side of the hibiscus. The dark cherry is, um, yeah, is that, uh, it's the polar opposite of the hibiscus and the grapefruit tang. You have this dark sweet cherry that kind of um, equalizes out the tang side. So you get a little bit of tang, but you do get the mellowing warm warmth of sweet cherry. I really like the body. Again, like I just said, the carbonation is of course really nice. The honey character is super interesting to me because it is midway on the palate towards the end. You start off the whole drink with a lot of hibiscus, a lot of bright notes in that regard. And then of course the contrasting sweet cherry like we talked about a second ago. But the at the end of the palate, I'm getting a almost not minty, taste like I got on the nose, but a, a um, fruity sort of honey. And sometimes fruitiness to me can be similar to if I was tasting a, um, a well, fruitiness can be floral, highly floral in my opinion, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Oh my gosh. This thing's incredible. I when I first bought these, I was a little skeptical, to be honest. People had hyped them up and said, hey, this stuff's really good. Um, and I was like, ah, yeah, but like 7% or 5.8% is, um, I mean, you know, it's going to be like a cider. It's not like a cider. It's like a, it's a full-bodied mead. That's super, super good. Okay, well, I do a score sheet for everything. So let me go and score this, give my opinions on it, and I'll be right back. All 
All right, I've finished my score sheet. I will of course be throwing a picture of it up on the screen right now as I uh, talk about it. So color and appearance, I gave it a nine out of 10. Super, super nice, very clear, very nice ruby red color. Um, and of course there's the carbonation side, just was all around very good. Nose bouquet, uh, I said it's minty. Bright floral hibiscus, honey character is slightly muted, meaning that I don't get a lot of that on the nose um, initially. That's not to say I don't taste it. That's 13 out of 15. Flavor is 14 out of 15. I said great contrast of dark to bright notes. The hibiscus and cherry notes complement one another. Kind of ran out of room there, but like I said earlier, um, it is a very three-dimensional drink, meaning that if you're searching out the bright hibiscus, the uh, tang side of those things, you can find it. If you want to taste the darkness of the cherry, you can also taste that. Just, it's pretty good. The finish, I said smooth finish. Uh, honey flavor begins to set in at the end of the drink. It's very refreshing, 10 out of 10. I could drink this thing all day, absolutely. Honey character presence, um, it said more so found at the, in, at the mid to end of palette. It's bright and uh, it is not a lot of muted side to the honey. Uh, the darkness comes from the dark cherry that I'm getting. That's eight out of 10. Mouthfeel body, 10 out of 10. Love the full body yet refreshingness of this. Um, and not very sophisticated, but basically this thing is just very, very nice, especially for the time of year I'm in, which is the summer. So this is something I could, you know, have 22 cans of in, in a day and be happy. In total, I gave the 64 out of 70. I don't know what my highest is right now, but I do have a score sheet down below or a Google Drive link to everything I have reviewed with my um, my data. So I update that regularly. It's kind of a spoiler if you watch a lot of these because then you go through and you, you see how I've rated things previously. But if you wanna know where everything is on my grand scale. This thing's really good. Meridian Hive, if you're listening, thank you so much for making great mead. Um, keep it up, you guys are rock stars. I have some more stuff from them. I will be taste testing, of course. You'll see that on this channel. Uh, if you want to support this channel, go hit like and subscribe, of course, and do all that stuff. There's the main channel, you know, either, you know, all of that, whatever. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this. Go check out Meridian Hive. I will, of course, be back with some other mead reviews and the podcast and all of that in the future. But for now, that's the end of this video. I hope to see you guys in the future with another video and have a wonderful day. Cheers.